Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example of how to deal with distance, velocity, and time type of problems. Now let's try and employ what we just learned in the previous video. Here we have Tom driving to town at 45 miles per hour. On the return trip, he drives 36 miles per hour, taking one hour longer to return. How far is it to town? So he takes a trip out to town, he comes back. So let's do a little schematic of that. So here's Tom and he drives to town at 45 miles per hour then he drives back at 36 miles per hour and it takes one hour longer to go home as it did to go to town and we want to know how far it is to town so distance equals question mark so what we don't know here is how far it is to town. Matter of fact, that's what we're looking for. So we don't know the distance. And we do know that the distance to town is the same as the distance back home. So therefore, we can start with the equation distance 1 equals distance 2. And then realizing that our general equation, distance equals velocity times time, we can then write that velocity 1 times time 1 equals velocity 2 times time 2. Now we do know the velocity is going to town. Let's say 1 is going to town, 2 is coming back. So V1 would be 45 miles per hour and V2 would be 36 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So 45 times T1, the time it takes to town, is equal to V2, which is 36 times T2. Now we don't know what T1 and T2 are, but we do know the relationship between the two. We know that it took one hour longer to come back than to go to town. In other words, we know that T2, the time to go back from town back home, was one hour longer than T1, so that, therefore it's T1 plus one hour longer. So the return trip took one hour longer. And so what we can do now is replace T2 by what T2 is equal to in terms of T1 and plug that in here. So now we have 45 times T1, which represents the time to get to town, is equal to 36 times T2, which is T1 plus 1. And now we can solve this equation for T1. Once we know how long it took to go to town, we know how fast a person drove, Tom, then we can multiply that to get the distance. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. We have 45 times T1 is equal to 36 times T1 plus 36. Moving the T1 term to the left side, 45T1 minus 36T1 is equal to 36. Combining like terms, 9T1 is equal to 36. Divide both sides by 9. And coming up here, we know now that T1 is equal to 4. In other words, T1 is equal to 4 hours. Now that we know the time for T1, we can now find distance 1. And we know that distance 1 is equal to distance 2. So distance 1 equals velocity 1 times time 1. And V1 was 45 miles per hour. And we multiply the times T1, which is 4 hours. Notice the hours cancel out, and we end up at 180 miles. And of course, therefore, distance 2, the return trip, is also 180 miles. And then if we divide that by 36 miles per hour, we get 5 hours, which is indeed what we would expect. And so it looks like we did it correctly. That's how it's done.